bro, these gloves are just super, super nice for offensive and defensive. How from below the unique gloves, gloves for the Necromancer is just like super good. So uh, for defensive, it works uh, with this aspect defensive. You gain 0.25 increased armor for four seconds when you deal any form of damage, taking up to 15%. It's the lowest roll. Uh, I have a lot bigger, but it is good already as is. I'm just keeping the better one for ancestral. Uh, now, what is so good about the gloves? First of all, instead of detonating immediately, corpse explosion, right? It summons the skeleton which charges into the enemy, right? And then it explodes, right? Uh, the one thing that I really dislike about the gloves is the fourth affix, which is lucky hit, up 2% chance to fear the enemy. It really sucks with my... Uh, current build which is the overpower blood surge build where I need to group them up together to make massive explosions so it really sucks that would make them like some of them if they survive they would just run away I even had a case with a bug where during the hell tide you know when there's an invasion happening in these red portals right so it actually feared the portal and the portal never came back so I failed that event <laughs> so it was funny too bad I didn't get that on tape uh, but anyway, uh, let's begin. So for the offensive, if like there are builds that actually go with uh, the course explosion, right? So they kind of stack all the affixes to make the course explosion even better. In my case, I use it also to do some damage, but my main reason for the use of this is to build up my defense, right? So you will you will need the blighted corpse explosion upgrade in order for this to work because uh it kind of creates a pull right uh for six seconds and it deals shadow damage which is really nice and for six seconds uh, it keeps it works with this one right so it will generate uh the defense up to 60. Uh, once i'll be demonstrating this to you you i'll ask you to look at the icons where you can see a uh, blood hand and a uh, number 12 right you will see uh, a stack up up to 60 and that 60 is the maximum like this is like the best defensive perk uh, in my opinion like the best it increases the survivability it's even got nerfed with that really 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 long bad patch that everybody knows about uh, anyway let me show you what I mean here's my guinea pig <laughs> I'm coming baby alright so let's begin here's the boss Fight me. Uh, you see that armor over there? 5, 4, 2, right? So, maximum I can get to is 60. And as you can see, the blight is already working. So, my defense is going up. And uh, during Season 1, we have this really, really nice heart, which makes the corpses explode automatically on its own. By the way, I should not die because it's a hardcore character. <laughs> right? So as long as it damages, it kind of grows. And the more of those you have, the better, right? So I can get my defense all the way up to a lot, 60, boom. And I'm generating th those corpses by hitting because I do have a passive, which uh, increases, uh, gives me a chance of uh, getting those corpses. So I was talking about this passive. Gr oh wait, the Grim Harvest actually it's another passive that's also useful. It's consuming corpses, generate six essence. Then I also get you deal increased damage when I use the corpses. Uh, but this is what I was talking about. So the flesh lucky hit, your damage has up to a 12% chance to create a corpse at the target's location. This chance is double against bosses. So really, really nice, right? <laughs> Uh, and yeah, thanks to the gloves, right, uh, I can get the corpse, but the boss may run away. And if I trigger on the corpse, the, uh, the corpse will just stand up, and become a skeleton, and charge right into the boss. So, boom. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you would have corpses all over, over there. You detonate them, uh, but they don't do nothing because there's nobody to hit there. But with the gloves, that, that problem is solved. <laughs> so, check this out. Oh, I generated my defense 60 boom and now they're being damaged so it's a lot easier for me to maintain my defense on top like all I need is more enemies so, boom. right as I said with season one it's even better because we got this uh, heart that automatically triggers the corpse explosion skill 
but I was using this even before season one so it is what it is so I use it my main thing is defense man hardcore defense baby and it's all good so far working out really nice it's actually the entire build is coming out great I'll have an update video really soon on my build <laughs> So yeah, see, oh, I'm being poisoned, who cares, I just stand there, man, chill. <laughs> and right now, I don't even need to focus on exploding my corpses, because uh, that heart does everything for me. Previously, I had to, like, click the button. <laughs> now I don't, now I can just spam my basic skill and spam my blood search, and just stand next to the boss, and he barely can't do anything about it. Of course, I do have another defensive perk, which works um, when using a basic skill it gives me I think 20 additional percent of uh, defense for X amount of time in my case six seconds so nice 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 love it but uh, just in case if you haven't noticed that's the skeleton right <laughs> so there's the corpse that's the skeleton right just in case because everything's just so fast right now Alright, so this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And by the way, if you have your own personal tips and tricks or some explanation or some useful information, please do comment it down below. It would be really nice to read your point of view. What do you think about these gloves? How do you use it, utilize, right? And uh, I believe others who would be reading the comments will also appreciate your time explaining how you use these gloves. So, you all have a good morning, day, and night, whatever you guys lock in at. And... Uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Oh, by the way, if I mispronounce something, I do apologize. I am from Ukraine. Sometimes I mispronounce stuff. See you later.